Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. So on the Chainlink chart, we're looking here still at a possible five wave move to the downside, which could lead to one more low. Yeah? It's a very strange structure, but we can count it as an ending diagonal um, with the current high being a wave four, or maybe the wave four will even go a little higher. That's something that will be decided later. But certainly one more low is still a possible option here on the chart. However, price could turn around already and we talk about which levels it now needs to hold to have a chance to rally higher in a yellow wave count, in the yellow wave count, which could send price higher. So that Elliott wave count or the Elliott wave count allows us to understand what are the levels um, that now need to hold in a corrective pullback, you know, which seems to be playing out now. So I gave you yesterday already the support area that price needs to get into now. Um, and well, more importantly, the support that needs to hold um, for Link to go up further. Yeah? I'm still skeptical at this stage. And again, similar to many other coins, it is only a diagonal, even though here on the Link chart, it could be, a, could be an impulse. Actually, we take a look at that now, but overall, very weak yeah link anyway um ev even though it shows some strength here locally i mean this is the movement that you can see of may 22 i mean if you look at what bitcoin did um here yeah weakness okay but a lot of we a lot of altcoins are weak at the moment so at the moment on i think there are only a handful of altcoin charts maybe that are currently actually in an in an uh, uptrend at least the ones that i'm aware of i mean there are thousands of charts right so we talk about the more reliable ones um Anyway, here on the link chart, we have, as you can see, a possible five wave move to the upside. We wanted to see a reaction in our support or trend reversal area here. It did hold the 50% retracement at the time here on the 29th of June and did rally into resistance. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And now it's going to be very interesting because we have a possible five wave move to the upside. This looks potentially impulsive, yeah, even though... I would still count it as a diagonal because here in the middle, this uh, retracement doesn't look good, doesn't look impulsive. Um, it is basically a retracement where you shouldn't really have one, ultimately leading here to an ABC structure. So yeah, you have a possible five wave move up, but it is a, a diagonal most likely in a wave one, which means we can't really trust it. So here in a wave two pullback, um, let me just make sure that I have adjusted it correctly. Bear in mind, best is to draw these FIPS on new exchange. It can differ slightly from exchange to exchange. My support here that needs to hold is $5.30. It's a 78.6 retracement level. So price can now come down lower in this ABC structure of wave two. If it pulls back now, which yeah, it looks like it wants to do that, um, then it is going to be 5.30 that needs to hold to give the yellow wave count a chance, which means wave one to the upside, first um, diagonal. Wave two to the downside could be unfolding now, and then a third wave rally afterwards. There will be another four and five, which I haven't added here to the chart. But if we get price back into this region, okay, can it doesn't need necessarily to come into this region, but ideally it would do between 5.81 and 5.30. Important just is to hold the 530 level, yeah, not to break below it. Again, a, a wick below it to 520 or whatever, no problem. If it recovers very quickly, it still has a chance. And then if it's holding, it can rally in a third wave and would then need to take out resistance at uh, $6.70. So this one worked out. I think we now have a potential break of this trend line. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that price broke the trend line and it seems to be a sustained break. So it has some bearish implications, short-term bearish implications, um, because price is consolidating below the trend line. And yeah, it could then follow through to the downside. A wave A can be a five wave move or a three wave move. Oftentimes in a wave two, the A wave reacts to the 38.2 FIP retracement. Let's just add that to the chart as well. So what often happens is here, and I, I guess I need to move the support area a bit further to the left, otherwise it's too far away. And typically an A wave likes to react to the 38.2 FIP level, that's at $6.02. Then a move up in a B wave, which is sort of the relief rally. 
um, which should ideally form a lower high and the move up should be very choppy. Bear in mind, B waves are among the most difficult waves at all to trade and then a C wave to the downside. Okay, that's my update about Link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.